Today we're playing some gates, but this time they're Splunky. So here is our new and improved budget Splunking Gates deck, and I'm pretty hyped for this deck. Gates is one of my all-time favorite budget decks. We've played it a few times in various formats, and as soon as I saw Splunking, my first thought was, this is going to be, like, the best card in Gates. The three-man enchantment just makes it so your lands come into play untapped, and it gives you an extra land drop, so it's like an explorer grow spiral, with the downside of being a little more expensive in sorcery speed, but this huge upside of making your lands come into play untapped. And my first impulse with Splunking was, okay, this is going to be great in Gates, because the biggest downside of Gates is they all come into play tap. So the mana base is really, really slow. Splunking gives us an extra land drop, which is exactly what we want. Plus, now all of these random common tap gates are coming to play untapped, which is really ridiculous. But it turns out Splunking is way better than I even realized. Like, I underestimated just how much combo potential Splunking has in the gate deck. So yes, it does do what I initially thought, which is all of a sudden with Splunking, our pretty clunky slow gate mana base is a really good mana base because it all comes into play untapped, but it does so much more than that. So first, it joins Explore and Grow Spiral to give us another extra land drop spell. So the floor on this card is really, really high. Like I said before, we're essentially just paying one more mana on an Explore with the upside that all of a sudden all of our lands come into play untapped. So all this to say, Splunking is fine even when it doesn't combo off, but then when it does combo off, it is ridiculous. So how do you combo off with Splunking? Well, the thing I underestimated about the card is how it makes lands that we tutor up with Circuitous Root or Primeval Titan come into play untapped. And this allows for this re ridiculously huge combo turn. It does two really big things. First, we can snag Baldur's Gates untapped to make ridiculous amounts of mana. It kind of turns our gate deck into almost like Mono Green Devotion combo, how Mono Green like chains together Nykthoses to have this massive turn. Well, now we can kind of do the same thing. We have two Baldur's Gates now, so we can get down to Splunking, then we can like Circutius Root, get a Baldur's Gate, make a ton of mana, and then cast a Primeval Titan or another route to get another Baldur's Gate, make a ton of mana. So that by itself allows for really explosive turns. The other thing that Splunking does is lets us combo off and speed up the Mises End kill by a huge, huge amount. The big downside of Mises End is it comes into play tapped. So you got to play it. You got to wait a turn. Hope your opponent doesn't field everyone it, and then you can win the game. With Splunking, though, it comes into play untapped, which means we can just set up a Primeval Titan to grab Mises Ends. They come into play untapped, win the game on the spot. It also opens up these weird combo loops where we like uh, play a Mises End, activate a Mises End, then use an Explorer to put Mises End back into play untapped, and we activate it again. So we can jump from like six gates or seven gates all the way up to winning the game all in one huge turn thanks to Splunking. It is amazing. It is like so much better than I imagined. So all this to say, our deck now, it is a Gates deck. We still have all the Gates stuff, the Guild Summits, the Gates Ablaze, the, the Good Removal, a couple Escape to the Wilds, and a bunch of more removal and interaction in the sideboard. But I really think this deck is Mises End Combo. As you can see, no Gatebreaker Rams in the main deck. They're in the sideboard now. The goal of this deck is to be the Amulet Titan, essentially, a Magic Arena. We're not trying to like make big Gate creatures or anything like that. We're just trying to set up this splunking Mises End Combo loop where we ramp out a bunch of lands on tap, activate Mises End a few times, use Baldur's Gate to make a ridiculous amount of mana, and combo kill our opponent all in one massive turn, and the results are pretty spectacular. So that is the new and improved Gates. Probably one of the best decks that you can play, literally in historic. Best part, only 16 rares to put together. That's our deck for today. Thanks for watching, everyone. Enjoy the gameplay, and I'll be back in a bit for the wrap-up. Need some magic cards? Well, you can snag them from our sponsor, Card Kingdom, over at cardkingdom.com slash mtggoldfish. We've got new tokens and playmats, and you can even get the tokens signed if you want. Check them all out over at mtggoldfishmerch.com. All right, budget magic time. We are playing some new and improved Splunking Gates in Historic this weekend. Uh... Splunking is kind of wild, and I think Gates, I mean, I already thought Gates were really good. Now I think Gates might just actually be kind of busted. <laughs> they might actually just be busted, thanks to the Splunkening. Oh, we're going to keep this. I mean, we're playing a million lands. Green is our most uh, most popular color. As long as we hit a Gate or two, we're, we're in fine shape here. Ah, there we go. Simic, you'll get go. Well, that's what we were looking for. That's what we wanted. Well, now the question is, can we play Splunking, or do we have to play around counters? Well, let's Plaza of Harmony. 
and then explore. Put a Plaza of Harmony into play. Opponent might be in a Mac Incarnation. Our Terra Sunder attack could be very helpful here. We would like to grow Spiral into a land, honestly. Well, grow Spiral. Can we find a land? Ooh, Baldur's Gate. Uh, yeah, we'll put that into play. I think we just play... I think we just play the Guild Summit. That resolves. All right, opponent's gonna answer it. That's fine. Yeah, let's just tear asunder. Keep our guild gate. Play the Simic guild gate. Draw a card. All right. The problem with Leyline Binding is that lets our opponent Enigmatic Incarnation to a seven, and we can't we can't have that already. Wow, they're gonna. Oh, this is this is maybe over. Authority of the consoles. Sure, sure, sure. So. So we, oh, we just got a Primeval Titan, right? We have to. Yeah, we got a Primeval Titan. Primeval Titan. Tapped. Sure, that's fine. We will take Rakdos Guildgate. Azorius Guildgate. Draw a couple cards. Selesnia Guildgate. Draw another card past the turn. One, two, three, four, five, six. Or up to six gates. Can we combo kill next turn? I want to show the power of, of Splunking. And the power of Splunking, it's way better than I thought. So I thought Splunking would be okay just to like improve your mana base. But it's actually way better than that. Because it lets you combo kill by putting Mazes End into play untapped repeatedly. Which is kind of ridiculous. Pona grabs a mountain. We're kind of okay with the Nomad Incarnation here. What are you going to do? So we draw Simic Guildgate. So... I think we can combo kill. One, two. Actually, no, this is silly. Let's play Simic Guildgate. Draw a card. One, two. Make green mana. Splunking. Draw a card. Put Simic Guildgate into play. Draw a card. Play a Primeval Titan. Oh, wow. Oh, this is going way better than I thought. Okay. Uh, yes, we will take a Baldur's Gate and a Gateborn Manor. Comes into play on tap, keep the new Baldur's Gate, draw two cards, go to combat. Oh, it's over. It's over. Oh, it's over. Oh, it's super over. Uh, gate and Gate, draw a couple cards. Mazes End. Oop, wait, hit you first. Mazes End untapped because Splunking is busted off of the Gross Spiral. And then activate Maze's End, win the game. And uh, yeah, that, that was pretty easy. <laughs> Maze's End being untapped is so ridiculous. Like, that's the big downside of Maze's End. The big downside of Maze's End, the big downside of Maze's End is you have to play it tapped and wait a turn to, uh, to actually resolve it. That problem gets more or less completely solved by Splunking. Now Mazes End wins the game immediately. And also, double, like, Baldur's Gate make a bunch of mana. Tutor up another Baldur's Gate make a bunch of mana. That combined with extra land drops often lets us just combo kill out of nowhere. Like, it's ridiculous how strong, strong Splunking is in this deck. It's, like I said, I thought it was going to be good. I thought it was going to be powerful. Just like, oh, my gates are tapped. Now they're untapped and I get an extra land drop. It's so much, once you play with it, it's so much more impactful than I actually, it's like, it's a game changer. It is a game changer. It really, oh, it really is. All right, opponent. Can you stop our gates? Well, okay. I mean, it worked last time. No green mana, but... Hopefully we uh, draw into some green mana. Nice. Yes, I, I know. Our opponent, you figured it out. We're playing gates. Stone brain. All right. I mean, so they can stone brain away our mazes ends, I guess. I wonder if they go after Primeval Titan. I mean, we can still win with Primeval Titans. It's annoying to not be able to mazes end win, but we still can win. I'm kind of hoping it's Primeval Titan. I'd rather have the mazes ends, given the choice. Grow Spiral. How about a Grow Spiral? We actually kind of want our opponent to name something in our hand so we can draw a green source. Like, this hand is set up to... Okay, they go with the mazes ends. Sure. We're going to have to do it the old-fashioned way, which is beating down with Primeval Titan. It does make it a lot harder. It does. Well, there goes the mazes ends. Opponent gets to see our hand. Tap land. Well, there's a green source. It's a little tap, but we got there. Can we win without Mazes End? Our build is very much about Mazes End. Can we win without it is a good question. Opponent. 
untap land down to 16. The more damage our opponent takes off their mana base, the better for us. I mean, they can't really assemble the team, okay. Is this not Enigmatic Incarnation? And passes. Well, as much as we'd like to Splunking, Actually, do we just Splunking? Pass, we can grow Spiral Instant Speed. This also lets us leave up Terra Sunder in case our opponent somehow does any Mac Incarnation stuff. All right, Pitch is a Herd Migration. I don't know what our opponent's doing, honestly. Maybe it's just like Yarion Value Pile? Cascades into an Assemble the Team. This is a interesting deck. Well, that's Grow Spiral. Oh, no land. Okay, that's not ideal. So the opponent gets to Tutor again. Isn't this six mana? Oh, five mana. Okay. Oh, this is probably just like an Up, a bean, up the Beanstalk deck, I guess. Missing lands here actually hurts. We might have to spend our entire next turn getting rid of a Modi. Ooh, Baldur's Gate. Does that change things? So Baldur's Gate, I mean, that does let us play Primeval Titan. How bad is it to let our opponent untap with this Emoti? That's probably bad. One, two. So we have six mana. I guess this is this is probably our best bet. So make green mana, blue mana, grow spiral. Put a plaza into play. Black mana. Yeah, I mean, I think we have to answer this, unfortunately. Get rid of the Modi. Can we actually win with Primeval Titans? That's, if they find another Stone Brain, we have no win cons. Like, literally no win cons. The run, Breaker of Silence, sure. Can't be countered, can't be targeted non- <laughs> Terra Sunder's actually green. Escape to the wilds. Play a Plaza. Play a Splunking. Put the Forest into play. Put the Sea Tower into play. And pass turn. I don't know if we can win this or not, honestly. Well, they're not comboing with Quintorius Khan. Sure. Opponent hits an up a beanstalk. All right, so we get drained. Up a beanstalk resolves. We will tear us under it. Oh, opponent goes attacking. Down to 19. Well, place him at Guildgate. One, two, three, four, five. Escape to the wilds. Put a guild gate into play. One, two. Make some green mana. Primeval Titan. Demir Guild Gate. And Baldur's Gate. Keep the new Baldur's Gate. Make some green mana. Primeval Titan. Get a gate. Get a gate. Primeval Titan? Yeah, alright. Primeval Titan. Get a gate. Get a gate. I mean, if we had... If we had our Mises Ed, we would have won so incredibly easily there with the combo. That Stone Brain was huge for our opponent. That was huge. Opponent makes it 3-2. I mean, we will veto basically anything because... Uh, you know what? I don't think we veto up a Beanstalk, actually. We have this Terra Sunder that can deal with it. We need to We need to be able to stop our Wrath. We need these Primeval Titans to win us the game. Palantir, sure. Passes. I mean, we're definitely milling. We'd like to find another veto. I think that's our most realistic game plan. We'll lose a life. Take some damage. With all the manas. One, two, three. Guilds, or one, two, three. Guild Summit. One, two, three, four. All right, there's another veto. So we can play the Guildgate draw card. Play the Splunk. Yeah. One, two, three. Play Splunking. Put a Guildgate into play. Draw a card. Colossal Sky Turtle to bounce a Primeval Titan. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Well, everything in our opponent's face. 
Get some lands. Plaza, plaza. Gain some life. Yeah, let's take one Simic Kill Gate. Blocks. Uh, so we will tear asunder. To get rid of the Thrun. Baldur's Gate for 15. Primeval Titan. Get our last two gates. Should we just get the Upper Beanstalk actually? Probably. Let's tear asunder the Upper Beanstalk. Ah, oh, the Farewell doesn't even matter. Did we just pass? We have eight cards in our deck. Well, that's Splunking. Put an island into play. Explore. Grow Spiral. Splunking. We do have one more removal spell, right? That would be good. All right, pass the turn. Discard. Uh, actually, let's discard our ramp. All right, well, all right, opponent, can you beat a bunch of Primeval Titans? Opponent makes a dork. I mean, we have a veto, so we're not going to get Wrath. This would have been such a cool game if it wasn't for that stone braid. <laughs> oh, we would have won so long ago. Yeah, I mean, I guess we just veto it. So they can kill a Primeval Titan and we still have lethal. All right, assemble the team. I mean, unless you're going to assemble into a literally free Wrath, that should do it. Well, I mean, that shows the deck's power when things go poorly. Is there a way we die? You know what? Uh, you can draw a card. I don't think there's any reason to risk it. One's got no mana, so, well, go to combat. Prime times at the face. Uh, nothing to tutor up, but some 6-6 six, six tramplers should be enough. About it, blocks. Oh, it dies. Well, I don't know exactly what our opponent was trying to do there, but the resiliency of the gate deck. Like, we know gates is explosive and combo-y. What happens when everything goes wrong? That's what we saw there. Like, we are very much, we call it gates because the deck's built around gates, but it's really mazes and combo. Like, that's what this deck actually is, is mazes and combo. And our opponent had the turn to stone brain to get rid of the mazes end, leaving us with just primeval titans is the only possible way to close out the game. No problem, no problem for the gates. All right, I mean, a little awkward that we don't have green mana, but. Hopefully we draw some. Baldur's Gate can make us green mana eventually. Luminok Aspirant, sure. How about a green gate or a permeable titan? Well, Baldur's Gate, go. I mean, if we don't draw green mana, this could go very poorly for us. Double Luminark Aspirant. If we draw green mana, if we draw green mana, then we're off to the races. Splunking. Oh, actually, this works, right? Plaza of Harmony works. So that's Splunking. I forgot, yeah, Baldur's Gate makes any color, so it actually turns that into a green source. Put another plaza into play. Pass the turn. Planes. Smarring Regiment. Unfortunately, our opponent's outpacing our gates ablaze at the moment. What we really, really want is... Circutius Root would be the best. Oh, it gets in. Gross. Yeah, we only have two gates. Only two gates. We need gates. We need gates. Okay, there's a guild gate. This could work. This could work. So play a guild gate. Explore. Not a guild gate. Splunking. Oh, Maze's End. Cameo Whispered Hopes. One gate, two. We only have three gates. Oh, we need this. We need the. Our opponent has managed to Luminar Conspire outside of Gates Ablaze range. And I don't know if we can get enough Gates to to do it. We'll see what they do. If they put the counters on the Cami, then we're then we're happy. So grows, grows. They're six sixes. Wow, we're dead! Oh my goodness. Wow. <laughs> but it says good game. Alright. Well. There's good news, which is uh, we are going to hard stomp our opponent in games two and games three. <laughs>
<laughs> oh, I was thinking about going easy on them, but uh, that that GG, that early GG, or I guess it wasn't early, but that uh, GG where we didn't cast a spell. Now uh, I need. Now we gotta lay the beat down on them. Sorry, opponent. Sorry, opponent. <laughs> That's that's on you, buddy. <laughs> All right, here we come. Opponent's feeling good. They janked us out with double luminary goose pirate, but uh, they might have a, another think coming. Oh, now we gotta win. Now we're talking. Now that we're talking trash, we gotta win. Uh, all right, we'll keep this. So we're missing splunking. We got no primeval titan. Technically, we don't even have green mana, but oh, there's splunking. Demir Guildgate, go. So next turn, we can plaza into Splunking and Orzhov Guildgate. The following turn, we can Circudius Root. Uh, so play the plaza gain some life. Play the Splunking. Put the Guildgate into play. Wildwood Scourge. Enters Man of the Counters. When one or more counters are put on a non-Hydra creature, put a counter on it. So opponents like a Hardened Scales deck. Roaring Earth. I mean, we have double gates of blaze this game, which is going to be tough for our opponent. Sure, grows it to a 2-2, two -two, gets and hits us. Uh, so, Sir Curtius Root into Baldur's Gate and Gateborn Manor. Do we even want to? I don't think we need to sweep this, right? Yeah, let's just pass. We can sweep next turn. Gets in for two. Mana, mana, make red. Gates ablaze your way your board. Mazes end. Gruel guild gate. Replay the mazes end past the turn. Three, four, five, six. We're getting close. We're getting close. We're like a primeval titan away from potentially winning. But even just splunking plus. Even just Splunking plus uh, Maze's End and Grow Spiral is going to get there pretty quick. Like, Maze's End coming to play untapped is such a big dip. Like, it's a huge, huge change. And Felidair Retreat. Okay. Uh, well, let's just uh, snipe that. That could be annoying eventually. We draw Grow Spiral. So, one, two. Make green mana. Mazes end. Get a gate. Replay mazes end. Mazes end. Yeah, I guess we just wait. Let's just get an Azurius Guild gate. Grow spiral. I think we just win next turn. Put the land into play. Pass the turn. Yeah, we should be able to win next turn, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. Yeah, we easily win next turn. About it. Land. Well, this went a little better. This went a little better. Virtual loyalty. Sure, sure, sure. Maze's end. Grab a Boros Guild Gate. Like, you can see the power of untapped Maze's end. Maze's end. Make some mana. Activate Maze's end. Get a gate. This is where you see the combo feel. An opponent, dun 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 dun. And uh, yeah, that was <clears throat> that was pretty easy. That was pretty easy. Uh, do we want to change anything else? So we're on the draw of this game. We have the farewell. We have the Terra Sunders, which seems surprisingly good. We could bring in Gatebreak Rams. Do we even want Gatebreak Rams? Do we care? Let's run it back. Can we get them? Oh no. <laughs> I still can't believe they got us game one. That was so awkward. All right, what's the hand look like? I guess it was kind of our fault for keeping for keeping the hand with the clunky mana. A lot of times with this deck, there's so many lands that I <laughs> I keep hands thinking, oh, we're going to get there. And then usually we do, but sometimes we don't. Well, all right, we'll keep this. So no red mana. Hello, opponent. Hello. Uh, Simic Gilgate go. So no red mana, but we got some pretty good ramping here. You know what would be super annoying is Thalia. Thalia would be the most annoying. Conclave Mentor. That's like kind of annoying. Play a Plaza. Explore. Put Azurius Guild get you into play past the turn. Opponent planes. Well, let's see how to control this can get. Dusk Legion Duelist. Opponent gets in for two. Passes. Well, play Plaza. Gain a bit of life. Circudius Root. Baldur's Gate. What are we missing? So we have green, white, blue. Let's get Rakdos Guildgate so we have everything. Opponent needs a big turn here. 
Snakeskin Veil. Yeah, that helps. Is it enough? We're missing the Splunking at the moment. Opponent, tap land. The question's gonna be, can they grow outside of Gates of Blaze range? That would be big for them. Dawn of the New Age, okay. Goes attacking, hits us, down to 50. Draws a card. Ooh! Uh, let's end our opponent's hopes and dreams here. So if we play Orzhov Guildgate, this makes four, five, six, so I guess we can't. Well, all right, yeah, let's let's just say farewell. Creatures, enchantments, graveyards. Let's toss in artifacts for fun. And your go, opponent. <laughs> the one of farewell is such a such a brutal card. Opponent, land. Crystalline Giant. What does it spin into? Death Touch. One, two. Play the Simic Guildgate. Make some green mana. Play Primeval Titan. Grab a Gateborn Manor and a... I guess we take our first Maze's End. That could come in handy at some point. Pass the turn. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we're still a little gate short. The One Ring. I mean, One Ring's a really good card. That's a really good card. The Ozolith. Okay. Opponent. If we draw Splunking, I think we win this turn, potentially. Death Touch, Lifelink. Are we attacking? Yes. I don't think we want to grow Spire. We want to wait in case we draw Splunking. Well, get in with the Primeval Titan. I mean, Circodius Root's also good. Gate and Gate. Opponent takes no damage, but that's fine. Uh, make a little green mana. And uh, Gates are so busted. <laughs> uh, Circodius Root. Gate and Gate. Grow Spiral. Decline. And Mazes Send? Protection from everything does not include <laughs> Maze of the End making us with the game. Well, our opponents got us in game one. They did. The double Luminarch Aspirant draw did get us, but Gates kind of got their, their revenge in games two and games three. <laughs> Busted. I mean, we are in the draw. Do we even keep this? This hand's, yeah, you know what? We're going to mulligan. This is actually oddly way better. We'd rather just have the all land hand. Uh, we'll put the island to the bottom. This is fine. We got some uh, got some ramp. Got a, perhaps a removal spell, we'll see. I mean, it'll be removal eventually. Uh, yeah, play the green source, go. Opponent leads on the swamp, eh? Are we gonna get thought seized? Rakdos and Karaxa. Yeah, we'll just discard a guild gate. Down to 17. Well, let's keep playing the tap lands past the turn. Gonna need some card advantage at some point. Field of Ruin. I mean, this is fine. We're playing some basics, so this doesn't just get us. Honestly, think so. If you decide to play, uh, if you end up playing against Gates, I would say. So I guess our opponent's probably doing this to try to fill the graveyard for Karaxa. I would say. You really want to save your Field of Ruins for the Mazes Ends. Mazes Ends in Baldur's Gate. Like, yes, if our opponent's just trying to get cards in the graveyard, that's fine. But I think the the real payoff is Mazes End, Baldur's Gate. Opponent takes up a Liliana. Yeah, we'll discard a Plaza. Opponent passes. Growth Spiral. So opponent's got four cards in the graveyard. It's actually kind of awkward, isn't it? Well, let's play the Baldur's Gate. Play the Circuitous Root. Orzov, Guild Gate. Gate to the Sea Tower. Alright, opponent. What do you got? Blood Braid Elf going to Cascade into Children's Edict. Alright, they're gonna cast it just to get in the graveyard. Well, this is gonna be close. We do need to draw something. One, two, three, four, five, six. Gets in. Doesn't wanna. Do they wanna discard their last card? No. Okay, that's a good one. That is a good one. So we're gonna play Plaza. That is almost exactly what we want to draw. Gain some life. One, two, three. Guild Summit. One, two, three, four. Tap them all. Draw mostly a new hand. All right. I mean, Croxa is gonna come back. We don't currently have a way to kill it, but. 
We're getting there. Opponent, Crocs are returns. We'll discard one escape to the wilds. Uh, opponent. We we'll discard the plaza. Play. Opponent hits us. We do need to keep this Liliana from ultimating. That would be bad. One, two. We can't win this turn. One, two, three. Oh, do we not have red? Oh, we do have red from plaza. All right, play the splunking. Put a guild gate into play. Draw a card. Two. Three, four, five, six. Yeah, I guess that's fine. Three, four, five, six. Green. Escape to the wilds. Simic guild gate. Draw a card. Explore. Now let's Simic Guild Gate draw a card. Mazes End. Explore. And pass the turn. All right, this is it. Can we win next turn? I hope so. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 10, 11, 12, 13. We will discard a Gates of Blaze. So we go to one, but that's not dead. So we just got a combo kill. We just got a combo kill this turn. Opponent passes. So is it Gilgate? Draw a card. One, two. Make green mana. Primeval Titan. Baldur's Gate. Azurius Gilgate. Keep the new one. Draw two cards. And then... Baldur's Gate, Primeval Titan, Gate Gate, draw two cards, and then having the lands come into play tapped is so ridiculous. Grow Spiral, put a guild gate into play, draw a card, and then Maze's End, GG, uh, Guild Gate. Got him. <laughs> Liliana, Croxa, Thoughtseize, Bloodbraid. None of it matters. None of it matters. I mean, that, that was a Splunking win. If we did not have Splunking, we lose that game. No doubt about it, we lose that game. The ability to put ourselves into play untapped, straight up, that's, that is the difference. That is the Splunking difference. That is the game we would have lost before that we won now purely purely because we have access to uh to spawn gang well souls here maybe a flame blast boat we can go down one root maybe go down one i guess we can like cut one simic kill gate maybe 27 lands is that enough i mean we definitely don't want gate breaker ram that's gonna that is going to die this is the kind of matchup that <laughs> that makes me put gate breaker ram on the sideboard honestly you know what let's try let's try 27 lands so just a tiny bit more removal, run like that. I mean, this is actually the kind of hand that we want. Like, play some gates, play some ram spells, have a removal spell. All right, they take the souls here. Well, there's a splunky too. All right, well, opponent, forest and passes. Well, uh, guild gate, go. Opponent. Jerizel, kind of busted. Well, there goes our splunking, I'm sure. Ugh, getting alchemied. I mean, it's got to be splunking, right? Yeah, they take the splunking. Well, I mean, we might as well just explore, I guess. Explore. Put a land into play. Put a land into play past the turn. Uh, opponent. Land, blood braid. Spins into a Tormagoyf. I mean, okay, we're going to need to hit some removal. Our opponents build a big board pretty quickly here. Escape. Well, all right. Plaza. Escape. Oh, no removal. Well, Orzov Guildgate. All right. This is a little scary. This is a little scary. Without a sweeper, we could just die. Like, opponent's got nine power here. Opponent gets in, hits us. All right. This is huge. This is the turn we need to do something. Opponent passes. Flame Bless Bolt. One gate, two gate, three gate, four gate, five gate. So Baldur's Gate does make a bunch of mana. 
two, three. So we play Guild Summit. Decline. We play Baldur's Gate. Draw a card. One, two. Make some mana. Oh, do we need to grow Spiral? Maybe we need to grow Spiral. Yeah, one, two. Make some mana. Play Circudius Rue. I wish we could get life gain, but we can't. This leaves us a little pinched on mana. Guildgate, Guildgate. Draw two cards. Yeah, we just gotta pass. Pono says good game. That must mean they have something. Duracell. Uh, attacks. Well, uh, Flame Bless Bolt. The Blood Braid. Drop to two. Land. Croxa. Okay, discard a Terra Sunder. I mean, if we survive, we got a shot. Oh, we do survive. Okay. Uh, blue green. Well, I guess first we play, see, gate to the sea tower, draw a card. That doesn't help. Grow spiral. That also doesn't help. Draw a guild summit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. But we have no splunking. All right, so one, two. Make a bunch of green mana. Play a guild summit. Decline. Circuitous room. Get a gate. Get a gate. Draw four. Oh, there's the splunking. Is it in time? Is it in time? Oh my god, is this exact? Oh! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness, splunking! Put Maze's End into play. Untapped. Activate it. Oh! Oh, good game to you! Good game to you, Rakdos! Good game to you! Good game to you! Good game! Oh my goodness! We found it! We found- I mean, that- that was again, like, Splunk- Our opponent was early GGing us, they thought they had us dead. They thought we were dead, but they underestimated the power of the Splunking. I mean, that's- that is the power of Splunking. That was another just 100% Splunking, stealing that win. My god. I mean, we're gonna keep this. This hand's okay. We gotta grow some wild opponents doing some mulligan. Are you on vampires? You can't play the avatar and not be even... Well, I guess I play Flibble Thip and we don't play Flibble Thip every deck. Okay, fair, fair, vampires. How often do you change your emote? I'm curious. I put it on Flibble Thip and never change. Is that wrong? Was our opponent also gating? The gate mirror? Well, let's see who's got the better build of gates opponent. I mean, I assume we're a little favored because we didn't mulligan into oblivion. We'll see though. If they have splunking, all right, opponent explores, draws a card. Gates has a lot of card advantage, so we can win without without having a... Um, do we just play Guildgate? Yeah, let's Guildgate pass. See what our opponent... This is going to be interesting. I mean, they're on the play. They could just race us. It would be funny if the only way we lose is to Gates. Maze's End. Grow Spiral. Well, we will grow Spiral. Put another Guildgate into play. Oh my god, that's Splunking. That is, that is huge. Huge, huge, huge. Splunking. Put a Maze's End into play. Put a Plaza into play. I think we need two more turns. Uh, opponent, Escape. Alright. I mean, I think we're just going to be too fast for our opponent here. Plays a land. Plays a land. Well, we get to... Also, it's wild. See the power of the Splunk. So we get to play a Primeval Titan. A Baldur's Gate. Random Gate. Is there a chance we win this turn? So we play the Rakdos Guild Gate. We make mana. Four, five, six, seven. I don't think we can win this turn. Primeval Titan. Two Random Gates. And pass the turn. One, two, three, four, five. Escape. Oh, opponent's dead. Six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, I mean, we just we just win. Opponent, land. Explore. I mean, we got the Splunk. They don't have the Splunk. <laughs> that's, the, that's the difference. Opponent's not Splunky enough. 
Well, uh, attack with primeval titans, get all the gates out of our deck. Uh, guildgate, guildgate. And also guildgate, guildgate. I mean, I guess we can just take the mazes and... We don't even need to hit you with the titans. <laughs> we'll just win right now. How about that? Uh, Orzhov guildgate? GG? Like, mazes and tutoring out untapped Baldur's Gate so wild. All right, how do we actually interact with this, though? Bring in vetoes? Bring in vetoes. Go down the gates of blazes? You know what? Let's bring in one ram. Let's go down all the gates of blazes. Run it like that. Is our opponent playing Splunking? That's the question. If they're playing Splunking, they can beat us. If they're not playing Splunking, I think we're very favored because Splunking is the best card in this deck now. Yeah, we're on the draw. We'll keep this. This hand's okay. We really need green mana. Green mana in a in a little Splunking, perhaps. Opponent, tap land. So many Primeval Titans. Can we draw a green gate? No. Well, sad plaza, go. About it. Tap land and growth spiral. All right, we really need to draw a, oh, we really need to draw a gate here. We really need to draw a gate here. Oh God, oh no. Okay, we are getting max punish for the no green key opponent. Maze's end. Growth spiral. I mean, if we draw a green source, we still have a chance, but we need to draw it like this. To look at this hand of nothingness. Okay, there's a green source. Pass the turn. So it's still very slow. Opponent. Circuitous route. Well, let's grow spiral. One, two, three. I mean, they're still only at five gates. Although one of them is now Baldur's Gate, which is an absurd amount of mana. We do not draw. Oh boy, this is going so poorly. Uh, Baldur's Gate and random gate that makes green mana. Go. Well... I think we might be dead here. I guess we should have mulliganed. Guild Summit. Yup, opponent's gonna draw a bunch of cards. And Escape. I'm not seeing Splunking though. I'm not seeing Splunking. Opponent plays a land, draws a card. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Oh, well, there's Splunking, but we can't really play it this. Wait, do they tap out? Do they tap out so much that they can't veto? I mean, I think we just Primeval Titan. Grab two more gates. No mazes end yet. Gate and gate. And see if we die. They should be able to kill us, right, with the Primeval Titan. They have a mazes end in play. Okay, so they Wrath the Titan. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Are they one short? Oh, no, they have exactly enough. One. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, they're one short. Okay, so we have to win the game this turn. Is that possible? I don't know. One, we don't have that many gates is the problem. Okay, so one, two, we gotta try. We don't have a choice. One, two, three. Splunking. It'd be really nice to hit a gate here. So play Splunking. Draw a card. Oh, yeah, that's going to do it. All right. Yeah, without without our lands coming into play untapped, we can't win, unfortunately. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So opponent got that one. Well, we kept a risky hand. I don't see a Splunking in our opponent's deck, though. I don't see a Splunking. I don't think they're playing Splunking. Uh, we just shouldn't have kept the no green mana hand. Well, we're on the play this game. We still would, I think we still would have won there. If our opponent did not have instant speed Splunking interaction, even after all that, we would have just combo killed them. Well, this hand's actually pretty good. Same at Gilgate, go. Opponent, tap land. Uh, well, we will play Baldur's Gate, explore. Put a Gilgate into play past the turn. Land for our opponent, explores and land. Well, we are going to play the plaza, gain some life. One, two, th three. Guild summit. Tap the Baldur's Gate, draw a card. Pass the turn. Tap land. Growth spiral. Tap land. Well, all right, we will Circudius Root. Grab a gate and a gate. Draw a couple cards. Wow, we actually missed a land drop. That's awkward. That's very awkward. Opponent land. 
Guild Summit. Yep. Did not tap anything. Interesting. Simic Guildgate draw a card. We need green for that. So one, one, two. Make some green mana. Circuitous root. Okay. Do we Circuitous root or just kill the guild summit? I think we actually kill the guild summit. If they have Primeval Titan here, that would be pretty good for them. Explore. That's not Primeval Titan. They don't have Baldur's Gate at the moment either. Tear us under. Well, let's grow Spiral. See if we get a gate. Put the gate into play, draw a card. Oh, there it is. There it is. That is the missing piece. So, uh, that is what we were looking for. One, two. Make some green mana. Uh, play Splunking. Draw a card. Opponent. Another Terrace under, sure. We draw a card. You know what? Let's put Baldur's Gate into play. Keep the new one. Splunking. Draw a card. Put Simic Guildgate into play. One, two. Make green mana. That's not Baldur's Gate. All right, make green mana. Can we can we win this turn? Is it possible? Circuitous Root. Gate and Gate. Escape. Yeah, I guess we just pass. Next turn. Next turn we win. And I don't think our opponent can win this turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I mean, we easily win next turn. Opponent gains some life, not super relevant. And opponent sees what's happening. And we got Splunking. Opponent did not have Splunking. And this deck is kind of busted. This, this deck has to be real, right? This has to be like a really, really real deck now. So what did we learn this week about our new and improved Splunking Gates deck? And the deck is actually kind of absurd. So, so far I played 20 matches with the deck. I've won 16 of them. 80% match win percentage, uh, not quite to Mythic yet, but uh, going to be there very shortly, like most of the way through Diamond now. So uh, this deck, I think, is not just good for a budget deck, but it might literally be one of, if not the best deck you can play in Historic, which is super exciting because the deck's so cheap to put together. So whenever there's a deck that's like super competitive, super fun, and super budget friendly, I always get hyped because that's like the perfect deck for me. But uh, yeah, if you want to win a lot of games and not spend a lot of wild cards and have a lot of fun, I would definitely recommend Splunking Gates. The deck is so, so sweet. So that's been Splunking Gates. That's been our budget magic for this week. Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed it and i will talk to you soon looking for even more magic well check out the video where i explain the magic the gathering iceberger maybe the millennium calendar against odds where we tried to kill our opponents by getting a thousand counters on the artifact